Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, laughing boy here, and this is going to be a quick video on uh, essential equipment for beginners of Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, um, these are this is stuff that I recommend that you get, and the first thing I very, very, very strongly recommend that you get is this thing: get a microphone. Now. Um, you can play this game as a single player, but it it makes it a whole lot a whole lot better, a whole lot more fun if you're playing with friends. If you make friends online, and I made a lot playing this game, um, it makes it so much better. And it is uh, and a heist, especially. I would not recommend doing heist with people that you don't know and cannot communicate with. Now. The PlayStation 4 comes with this little fella right here. Uh, this has the little the earpiece and the mic, and it plugs into your controller. It's not the best mic in the world, but uh, it does work. And I'll give you an example of what it sounds like and what it looks like without the thing on the head. <laughs> anyway. It's not the best mic in the world by any means, but it does work, and it, it, you will be able to communicate with people, which is kind of the point. Now, obviously, that mic does not pick up quite as well as this one does, um, so you may want to adjust your mic gain, and I'll show you how to do that really quick, like, right about here. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your dashboard and go to settings. Go to devices then you're going to want to go to audio devices and then to adjust microphone level and then you just uh, simply slide this back and forth you can see I still have a little room to uh, turn my mic up and uh, that will help you at least a little bit but the the point is is you will be able to communicate and uh, if you don't have friends playing GTA you can make friends by going into a, a public lobby and uh, well, talking to people or going into the different missions and talking to people. Now along that lines, um, as far as uh, crew goes, I would recommend that you find a small but active crew that is interested in whatever aspect of this game that you're interested in. Um, the reason being, a, a small, active, social crew is more likely to um, to want to help you in doing whatever it is that you uh, you know that that you're wanting to do. And you know, like if you're out here and uh, and you're needing to do your motorcycle missions or your motorcycle sales or whatever, a um, or your CEO sales or your your, now your bunker sales not everybody is going to want to help you and um, if you're if you've got a small group of friends then uh, you're more you're more likely to get help than if you're part of like a super crew that is just there for racing now I'm going to show you the actual in-game equipment I'm going to start off in ammunition I'm going to show you uh, a, a larger list of equipment that I would recommend that you buy and then I'm going to show you the short list of things that I would recommend that you start off with. Now, of course, as soon as you could, I would recommend the sniper rifle, but that unlocks at level 21. And a definite must is the AP pistol. However, the AP pistol does not unlock until level 33. Now, um, a good substitute is the machine pistol, or um, over here on the right, wall the mini SMG now uh, most of the equipment is going to be over here on this wall uh, I would also recommend a uh, an automatic shotgun the sweeper shotgun is would be my choice uh, the other option would be the heavy shotgun the heavy shotgun has higher accuracy uh, higher range more damage smaller clip I would also recommend the uh, the homing launcher it is very expensive but it is also very very useful and I would also recommend 
the compact grenade launcher. Now we're going to get to the uh, perhaps w some of the most important um, the uh, assault rifles, the special carbine and the bullpup rifle. Now the special carbine I would uh, I would pick up at a later time. I would start off with the bullpup rifle simply because it is more accurate. They are comparable weapons. The um, the bullpup rifle is more accurate and that is very important early in the game. You want your bullets to count. <laughs> now, um, I would actually recommend that eventually you buy both of them and put and put the silencer on on the special carbine because you're going to be using it that way in uh, at least one of the highest and um, well now I'm going to get to the uh, the short list of the weapons I would start with and that starts we start off with the machine pistol that would be the first one I would pick up the bullpup rifle would be the second one I'd pick up and then finally the sweeper shotgun and for the uh, the rest of our equipment, I'm going. We're going to go outside. There's going to be things that you can that I would recommend that you buy, but uh, you can't buy them at ammunition. Uh, and again, I'm going to start off with and show you the things that I would want to uh, recommend that you uh, purchase as soon as possible. And then I'm going to show you something that you'd start off with for free. Here they are, the most useful vehicles in the game. Uh, of course, that is the Karuma and the Buzzard. Now the uh, they are both fairly expensive. The Buzzard is here at Warstock Cash and Carry or Cache and Carry, however you want to pronounce it. I'm really never sure. But here it is. Both prices. And uh, yes, yeah, they are it is both of them are over a million dollars it is expensive but it is very very useful uh, you can use it through in missions you can use it in free mode it is very helpful in both cases now um, I would also recommend the armored Karuma now the armored Karuma is definitely very extremely useful in um, well in missions and the free mode and uh, in high setups and let me take give you this one little tip if you're hiding behind a Karuma you're using it wrong <laughs> now as promised I'm going to show you what you should start off with and that's this fella right here the BF injection off-road it's not pretty it's not ever going to be pretty but it is very very useful now um, I'm going to demonstrate that here by using using it in a gang attack. I'm going to cycle to my mini SMG. And we're going to kill a bunch of bad guys. Well, other bad guys. Now I'm going to speed it up here a little bit, but uh, you should notice that uh, I'm not taking very much damage. and uh, But that is primarily because I keep the back of the car pointed at the people that are shooting at me and from the back this thing is nearly bulletproof uh, I actually covered this in a video one of my first videos if you can look that up it's uh, well it's how to be bulletproof in GTA online I'll link that below another thing uh, you should be aware of is pushing the X button while you're driving it does this it holds your head down it does make a difference now, um, I'll show you why uh, I recommend this car and why you use it this way right here. And that is quite simply that little back window. That little fellow right there is a tiny little window, and uh, which means that anybody that is shooting at you from behind, especially the AIs, will be most likely and most often hitting car not you. Um, they can hit you. It will. You will occasionally take some damage, but uh, most likely they're going to be hitting the car. And um, this car can take a lot of damage before it starts showing signs. 
I would definitely, however, recommend making those big balloons on back bulletproof as soon as possible. That means go and get bulletproof tires. Now I'm going to show you a few techniques that will uh, that you may not know about that will help you out in this game, and I'm going to show you at least one trick that you definitely need to know about. And uh, well, we'll get right to that. Now the first two things I'm going to show you here are just uh, a couple of combat techniques. One is uh, in hand-to-hand -hand how to dodge. You press the L2 button, hold the L2 button and the square button until your opponent swings. And when your opponent swings, let off the square button, press the square button again. And you'll dodge the next one. I'll also recommend counter punching. Um, now this one is pretty much the same thing. This is the monkey roll. But it's the same buttons. You uh, you press the the aim button, and then you press the square button and a direction, and you will roll in that direction. That will uh, that helps you to uh, it kind of helps to uh, keep from getting hit when you're in combat, especially with uh, player versus player. And uh, I would also recommend that you re-aim as soon as you come back out of your roll. Now we're going to go to stats. Uh, definitely of course the higher the better on all of these strength is uh, very important <laughs> in a lot of things um, hand to hand damage um, damage you're able to take and uh, jumps you're able to survive now what I would do is I would go out to the pier I would equip the pistol and then un unequip the pistol just in case you get into a firefight with the police which will also increase your shooting ability um, and the pistol is because that's the ammunition they're going to be carrying, pistol and shotgun ammunition. So you can refill it. Now what I would do here, as you see, um, just running up and down the pier and I am punching random people. You just keep doing this and it's, a, it, it, it's, it's fun. You pick up a little bit of change and um, you, uh, you will increase your stamina and your strength simply by doing this. Now stamina of course means you can uh, you know higher stamina means you can run longer you can uh, uh, swim longer whatever uh, longer and strength strength means you do more damage you can take more damage and you can um, actually it's, uh, I'll show you something in a minute. Now here is uh, an example of uh, one of the people trying to fight back. And there's the dodge and the counter punch. Dodge, counter punch. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a lot of fun. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> you might do this just because you're bored. Anyway, I'm going to give you an example um, of what a higher strength may mean to you. One difference in strength is this. versus this same jump same place different strength levels um, the first one was was with a strength of higher than three the second was a strength lower than three anyway uh, that's pretty much all I have for you I hope that you enjoyed the video I hope that it was in, it was informative and helpful and uh, I want to remind you, not only for myself, but for any video that you happen to see out there, please remember to leave a like if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Laughing Boy out.